Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about something that has been brought up a lot in the Hooping Live discussions and also in the comment sections of a lot of the videos, and that topic is flow. Now, this is a very touchy subject because flow is something that is kind of found within yourself and something that really can't be taught necessarily, but it can be... It feels like I can give you my experience and you can learn from other people's experience of flow and maybe that can kind of guide you to understand flow so when it does kind of come into your life you'll understand it more and um, yeah so with my flow journey I with hooping I had a lot of things that happened that taught me kind of how to be comfortable with myself because once I became comfortable with my inner dancer, which I talk about a lot, is when I finally was able to really express myself with the hoop comfortably. Now being comfortable with the hoop is kind of what my personal definition of flow is. I feel natural with the hoop, I feel confident, and um, I feel like there's a really strong connection. So a few things that I was taught that helped me kind of move along and learn um, how to find that inner dancer we're going to workshops and being around other hoopers. And one of these workshops in particular, which I talk about a lot, is the Hoop Path Workshop with Baxter. Now Baxter teaches us how to really become connected with that inner dancer. So he'll have you put your hoop down. So this is kind of my tip I'm gonna give you guys, is to put your hoop down, grab a handkerchief, and blindfold yourself. And put on an array of different music and try to dance to music that you maybe don't feel so comfortable with, but it helps kind of expand and push your body to new limits. And maybe one of those styles isn't your style, but at least you tried it and you know, and you can learn things along the way. And that's really important in the discovery of your own inner flow. And I have something in my eye, but that is not part of flow, is having something in your eye, I promise. Okay, <laughs> anyway, so the second thing I want to talk about is really understanding core hooping. Now, I do a lot of core hooping, and why I am so kind of a stickler about it is because I did a lot of tricky stuff when I was hooping for a while, and although the tricks were cool, it did not really kind of push me towards where I wanted to really be going. So doing on-body stuff really taught me how to dance with the hoop and add my own flair to my hoop style. Now I want you guys to remember this is how I found flow. So everyone's story is going to be different. So one of the main things that I really like to focus on is that dancing that I was talking about. And when you just hoop around your waist, even though it's a simple move, it can really bring out a lot of kind of like the foundation for flow. Same with chest, like core, hooping, anything on the core of your body for hooping. And what I like to really focus on is movement of my body. I like to stretch my arms out as far as I can in all directions. I like to really play with my hands and my fingers as individual kind of beans, like, um, or not beans, I guess, uh, <laughs> beans. It sounds like I'm saying beans. Um, Baxter likes to call them birds in flight. So really moving them around as if they were two birds and you're really exploring the space around you, reaching behind you as far as you can and um, just really exploring that space around you. So again, those are just a few kind of tips on how I found flow and maybe some things that you can work on in your own personal hoop path. I hope that they help and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'll be talking a lot more about flow in future videos and on Hooping Live every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern USA time. So hopefully I will see you then. And until then, happy hooping.